The action was at the Verizon Wireless Center this weekend as Northern Michigan came to town to take on the streaking Minnesota State Mavericks. Sophomore Dylan Marganeri would get the party started early. Followed up by a goal by freshman Zach Stepan. Reed Seckel of Northern Michigan would tally one of his own in the first period, cutting the Maverick lead to two to one. Fast forward to the third frame, Northern Michigan Shane Sooth would knot the game up at two, but MSU's Matt Leitner would break the two to two tie with a goal of his own, giving MSU a three to two victory over Northern Michigan. Zach Stepan has been a difference maker since he's come uh, back from the upper body injury that he had. And I thought the, the chemistry between those two tonight was special and uh, they were rewarded for their work because uh, they gave us an opportunity to get a lead. Um, and uh, Northern did what I knew they'd do and they'd keep pushing. Uh, they end up getting a goal, it tightens it up. Uh, we give up a power play goal in the third period and then we get one. So uh, proud of the guys for their effort tonight. Moving on to Saturday night's matchup, as we skip ahead to the third period after a scoreless first and second periods, Zach Lurkey would put Minnesota State on the board as we get a second look at his goal right here. Followed up shortly after by Jordan Nelson, freshman for Minnesota State, who would net his third goal of the year and give the Mavericks a 2-0 lead late in the final frame. These goals would not be the only action Maverick fans would get to see with their ticket stubs as there was a bit of a scuffle between the Mavericks and the Wildcats near the end of the third period in the Wildcats' half of the ice. All in all, there was a total of 14 penalties being issued between both teams. But Matt Leitner would get a bit of revenge of his own as he would score the third and final goal of the night on the Northern Michigan empty net, giving MSU a 3-0 win and its second consecutive series sweep over a conference opponent. Yeah, you know what, we, we talked about just sticking with it and uh, not uh, varying with with what was being successful, even though it wasn't going behind their goaltender. Uh, he's one of the best goaltenders that we've seen this season, um, and so we had to stay with it, and we did. And uh, our power play came through in the end, and then uh, the, the line of 24-16-8 uh, and eight, uh, really gave us a, a huge push by uh, Nelly getting that goal and getting us to a two-goal lead. The Mavericks improved their winning streak to five straight games. 